Happy Tuesday, second graders. Let's talk about our learning for today. I'm so impressed with all of you and your slides that you sent me yesterday and um, some of you that did your ancestor presentation. Keep up the great work. You guys are doing great. Let's talk about today. Okay, so we have our reading fluency passage and you guys are reading the grasshopper and the ant for one minute for day number two today, I'm recording how many words you read. Next, um, we are going to be in our wow and poem folder. Go ahead and write down the definition for detest. Oh, and then think of something that you might detest. Um, I know that I actually detest anchovies on my pizza. Now, that might be something that you don't agree with, but. Um, in here, for your word of the week, go ahead and write down the word detest, the definition, and um, try and think of some synonyms and antonyms, synonyms meaning same, antonyms meaning opposite, on your own. And then if you detest, that is an action. So we know that's going to be a verb. Also, in your purple folder, you're going to practice the poem, New Snow. We have a new poem called New Snow. And how exciting that Levi is actually in snow right now. Um, so let's go ahead and read this poem for about 10 minutes. And then you'll visit Seesaw to complete a continent song. We're going to really learn all the different continents because we want to know where all of our ancestors are coming from around the world. And um, so far, uh, we have some that have come from different continents, large, large, um, large areas of land. So go ahead and do that on Seesaw. Now, for your our classroom, don't forget to bring your yellow folder, your whiteboard, marker, eraser, and your writing notebook. We're going to finish reading um, night school and looking for powerful patterns. And then for small groups, um, when you're not in small groups, you're going to be completing your number patterns book. Now, what's funny is it's page 23, 24, and then it skips pages, it skips numbers in here, and then it goes to 46. So it's going to go 23, 24, and then the next page is numbered 46, which is kind of funny because it skips a lot of numbers, but that's okay. So you'll be in there working in here when you're not in your small group. Um, then you'll also go on to extra math to practice some math fluency. And um, tomorrow, so far, we have presenting on Tuesday. So far, we have signed up Jaden, Charlie at 10 o'clock, Sine, Aubrey, and Ariel at 10.30. So make sure that you guys are ready to present during our small groups. Okay, and then that brings us to our December calendar. Since we are the donut class, your art for the top is going to be a holiday um, donut drawing. It's a directed draw. So you'll watch the video and you can do it on top of your December calendar. So remember, the art is going to go above your December calendar. You can do it on another piece of paper like Ella did here. Um, Ella did hers and then we attached it to the back of November so that when December is open, you have your nice December art and on the bottom you have your December calendar. So have fun with that directed draw. Make it your own. It doesn't have to be exactly like the video. Um, yes, this is Ella's example, though. She wanted me to show you. Okay, and on our at-home calendar, make sure you look at the example of December, the December calendar, a picture I put on our at-home calendar. It has important dates and it has birthdays of some of our friends in our class that we wanna make sure we put onto our calendar so we can remind ourselves to say happy birthday to them. So enjoy making your December calendar. Then you'll be heading off to music with Mrs. Boris after lunch. After that, you will be heading to Brazil. Have fun with your holiday slides heading to a different place. And um, Brazil, remember, you go to your Google Drive 
In there, you look for your holidays around the world slides. You search it, and then you'll find the same slides from yesterday. And that's where they will be. So you have to go to your Google Drive to find it, or maybe you left the tab open, open yesterday. So email Mrs. Coslow if you have any problems. And well done to the friends that shared their slide with me yesterday. You only have to share the one country slide that you wrote your responses on. So um, good job to those friends that used the share button and shared with me so I could see their work. Okay, I think that's all for now, but I will see you at nine o'clock after you're done with your morning work. Okay, bye friends, see you soon.